I'm going to show you how the quick and easy way how to make a UI table view. I'll go ahead and open up Xcode. Create a new project. Let's create an empty application. Let's hope Xcode doesn't crash on us. Now let's name it Table View Demo. Let's just make it for the iPhone and use automatic reference counting. Let's go ahead and create a new file. Objective C class, make it sub view of UI table view controller. Let's just make it max controller. VGD uh, apps view. And no interface. On our delegate, let's import ZGD app view controller and go ahead and add the code self dot window dot root view controller space equals space. Cancel that. Don't do that yet. Let's add a navigation controller. App property strong non atomic UI navigation controller. Navigation controller. Self dot navigation controller space equals space UI navigation controller alloc in it with root view controller. Let's go ahead and CGD apps controller. Um, CGD apps. CGD in it VGD apps now that will be the first view is that a property in our interface on ZGD apps view controller dot M Property strong non atomic in this array. And let's name it apps. Let's make another property strong non atomic in this array. App links. Alright, with that, let's go down to here. Erase all these warnings. The number of sections in table view, make it one. The number of rows in section, let's make that self.arrays, no, self.apps.count. Let's change this default code. Just erase for index path. Now below that, if cell exclamation point cell. If it's nil, then cell equals UI t 
we will view cell alloc init with re init with style UI table view cell default use identifier cell identifier. Let's configure the cell cell dot text label dot text equals self dot apps object at index index path dot row and now we're done with that let's go back in our view to the load and set up our apps Set up our apps array, self dot apps space equal space in this array alloc in it with objects um Self dot app links so I suppose space in this array lock in it with objects Alright, now that we have that made, let's go ahead and run it so we can see our code so far. And somewhere we messed up. <laughs> we forgot to set our root view. Self dot window. So go back to your app delegate dot m and self dot window dot root view controller space equals space self dot navigation controller. Now we have that go ahead and add a title so zgd apps dot title space equals space apps uh, zeros game design apps see if it fits fits now we have a title and cells that are reused if they need to be. It doesn't do anything when we click it now. So let's add another file. Let's call it, I'll make it a subclass of UI view controller. Let's make it detail and with an XIB for interface. Our view controller dot a detail view controller dot h that's so add a property strong on atomic IBL at UI label URL app URL and Add a label, app URL. Let's also add 
another property for app name. Just so we have it. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of app name. All right, so now back in our GD app, so you controller dot m. At the bottom, there should be a table view did select row at index path. Go ahead and delete all of the comments. Now that's the top we need to import detail view controller dot h and then detail view controller detail view detail alloc init detail view dot title equals equals apps self dot apps object at index index path dot row and also detail view dot app URL space equals space self dot app links object at index index path dot row self dot navigation controller push view controller detail view animated yes and that should work. Let's see what it does. No, oh, we did not connect it. We did. Just didn't. All right. Go ahead and center it while we're at it. Doesn't do anything when we click on it. So you need to go here. Actually, set your app URL after you navigate to it. Let's see if that works. <laughs> okay. Oh. App URL dot text. We forgot the dot text. And now, now it works. We forgot to pee on that. All of his adventure, all of his adventure. Crazy rat. You have spelling errors. You might want to fix that. Now let's say you want to switch Zero's Game Design, the back button. If you go up to View to Look, actually we can go to our App Delegate. Self dot Navigation Controller dot Navigation Item dot Back Bar Button Item dot well that's S equals space UI Bar a lot in it oh in it with title back style UI bar button style uh, bordered target self at selector back Shouldn't need that, but if we do, we can add it. Oh, oh man. Let's see. Sorry, let's try something real quick. Erase all that. <laughs> let's go into our deep, our ZGD apps. View controller self dot navigation item dot back bar button item dot 
title dot uh, title space equals space back. That should work. It doesn't work. Forgot something. Set tile. Ah, sorry about this. Of course, Xcode crashes a lot. It's not good for making demos. Let's go. Let's try running it again. Alright, this is a good time for some debugging because I forgot how to do this. So let's do it again with a breakpoint. PO self.navigation item back item. Ah, PO self.navigation. PO self. Oh man. Okay. Well, that was useless. Let's see. Button space equals space. UI bar item Alec in it. Title back. I put self action selector back. Let's see what it says. Oh, we didn't want to do that. Controller pop. Yes. Now let's see if it works. There it goes. Now our back button is working. So the problem was your the back button is initially nil, so we had to allocate. Let's use this right here. Let's see if it works without this code. Make life easier. And it does. Possibly even without this. It does. So we can probably actually action nil. So if you just leave your action nil, you can get the back button to work. That is all you need to change your back button title. Pretty simple. And table views can be very useful, so enjoy.